All right, are y'all ready to do something fun? Well, it's time for our 2021 Christmas Name the Fly Contest. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Matt. Thanks for stopping by. So I've spent the last few days thinking about and playing around at the Vice with what we can come up with for our 2021 Christmas pattern. Now, I figured there are a couple of ways we could go with this. We could create a fishable fly, but just have some Christmas themed colors, or we could get all crazy and come up with some spun deer hair snowman looking crazy fly. So I decided to go with a fishing fly. So what I've got today, it's basically a streamer, just a bucktail streamer, nothing real fancy, but it does have some Christmas colors to it. And I did think about getting just a little bit elaborate with maybe a married wing. I ended up not going with that. You'll see what I'm talking about as we get to it. I don't think it really called for it. It would have gotten just a little bit too busy. Now, all right, since I just came up with this pattern, it does not have any name. And I didn't even really have any inspiration from it. I mean, there were no specific flies like the Thanksgiving pattern. It looked a little bit like a bumble puppy. This one, it's just kind of a silk body with a flat rib tinsel bucktail. So I'm asking you folks just to leave a comment with what you think we should call this pattern. Now the channel did have a pretty good November. It was the first month we've made over $400 in ad revenue. I have spent a lot of that already on the giveaways that we're doing this month with the 12 piece fly tying toolkit and the Smehan bobbin. And I've got one other giveaway we'll be doing in a couple of days. But I did save enough out of that to do a $50 gift card for the winner of this contest. So that's it, everybody. Have fun watching this tie. Have fun leaving a funny, creative name. This video is going to be published Saturday, December 18th. I'd say by, we'll let it run four days, maybe next Tuesday or so. I'll announce a winner and a pinned comment to this one and then maybe a community post. So that's it, everybody. Let's tie this 2021 Christmas streamer. So there it is in the vise, my as yet to be named 2021 Christmas streamer. So it's a Pretty standard looking bucktail right there. I guess the only Christmas thing about it is the colors. Now I am tying this kind of small. This is a number eight, three X long streamer hook. Let's go ahead and pinch that barb right there. And I'm gonna use some red thread. This is a 70 denier. Feel free to go a little bit thicker if you'd like, but go ahead and take a base back to the start of the bend. And for the tail, I chose some red duck slips. Just a couple of these right there. Grab them from a matching pair if you can. And I want it to be pretty long. I want it to be significant. I want it to really be noticeable. So I'm gonna tie it in about right there. Do a pinch wrap where I'm pinching the feathers and the hook at the same time. Kind of bring it up and one wrap right there. See if we got that caught in on top. Yeah, for the most part, I believe it is. It's just adjust a little bit more right there. Now let's snip this off pretty short. And I'm gonna move my thread up the front, just big wide open wraps and catch in my rib next. And I'm going with a silver mylar in a medium. So I thought about doing gold, but I think the silver is gonna look better with this white body. So I'm just gonna catch this in up front and then wrap it around down to the back. Okay, that's gonna be fine right there. And now I'm gonna take it back up to the front and I'm gonna catch in my floss from the front. So let's park that with our magnet right there. That tail is just a little bit off to one side, but yeah, I'm gonna live with it. And so the one I just did, I used some single strand floss, but it took a while to wrap that. So I'm gonna use some of this four strand, this is a Danville four strand rayon. Each strand is 300 denier. I think maybe this will make it just a little bit easier and I won't have to put as many wraps, but we'll see. I guess we'll know in a minute, won't we? Okay, I'm gonna snip the front of these off instead of just trying to pull it back because I might not have had each four of these strands even. All right. Now this would probably be a good time to use your rotary if you have one, because it's gonna take us a fair amount of wraps to get this floss down and back, and then we might want to go down and back again. But I have a camera right in front of me and a backstop right behind the vise. So I'm gonna do it the old way and just wrap them by hand. 
but I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch the next two minutes in real time. Okay, now when you've done that, I catch it off at the front. And this four strand did make it a little bit easier and I was able to do it with just one down and one back. But if you saw, it started splitting up on me there at the end. So I had to just kind of manipulate it and back it off and twist it together a little bit more. So I think it turned out fine. And that's a pretty smooth body right there. Now let's just go ahead and wrap our rib. However many turns you think are going to look good on this, I think probably five or six. I don't want them too close together. I do want to see some of that white underneath. Okay, I think that's enough right there. Let's catch this off with two tight wraps right there. Or three or four if we need. Couple extra wraps, let's bury that nub right there and take our thread back to the back of our head. And we're gonna tie in the first piece of bucktail. And I'm gonna do a nice little clump of white. Definitely gonna put this in my stacker. Let's see if we can get that out of there. Did that stack well enough? I think so. You can tell it's not a real big, real big piece. But I want to go back well past the bend, maybe to the, the back of that tail. I think it's going to look fine. So I'm going to cord my thread up, spin it clockwise a little bit, just so I can get a little bit better of a bite on that first wrap right here. Okay, there's two wraps. There's three. That last one was pretty tight. Let's see what that does for us. It's laying a little flatter than I want but we can fix that in a minute. We'll put a wrap underneath it. So I'm gonna go one more tight wrap in front there. Now I can just snip this off. Kind of at a little bit of an angle right there because we're gonna put in one more piece of bucktail right on top of it. And this time we're gonna do the Christmas green. My green is a little bit different um, quality bucktail, I would say. So I'm not sure how well this is gonna stack. Let's take a look. Uh, it's stacked well enough. Okay, so my thread is kind of at the back where I want to catch this in. I'm gonna lay it on the top, maybe the green a little bit longer. I think that will look okay right there. Let's do a pinch wrap on that. And that's caught in with three right there. Still gonna be laying flat. My green's flaring up on me, but that's okay is we're gonna take some wraps back. Okay. And here's a trick you need to know if, if it's laying flatter than you want, we're gonna lift it up and put a wrap underneath it. But let's go ahead and trim the front off before we do that. All right, so my thread is at the back of my head. That's where I want it. And I'm gonna lift this up, try to make sure I get all the fibers all the hairs and just put one wrap right up under it and you might want to go two if that doesn't prop it up how you want i think that gave us the height we want so we'll be good with that all right now we've got two more components here not done i'm going to put a topping on it and this is interesting this is what i was really playing around with earlier i thought about doing a married wing streamer so i tried some red and green with a little bit of mottled turkey on the top but it's either do a bucktail or do a, a feather wing like this and this is a streamer it's not an old school wet fly so i didn't go with that but then i played around and i said well how about if i just do a slip you know maybe some mottled turkey and some yellow and I thought, okay, that looks okay, but man, it's really getting kind of busy there. 
So I said, what about if I do more mottled? So that's a slip of turkey and then yellow and then turkey again. Still looking a little bit busy. So I said, ah, forget that. Let's just tie in a couple of turkey for topping. So that is a little bit more nondescript and it's already flashy enough with the red, white, and green. So I'm gonna just do a topping right here. I thought about peacock curl as well, but I thought the, the model turkey ended up looking kind of cool. So I'm just gonna tie a couple of these little slips in right on either side of this bucktail and about as long as the bucktail is. So let's see what this will do for us right here. Okay, I think that's gonna be fine. But you know what, I need my thread to the back before I put that first wrap in. And you can use anything you want for toppings. Lots of people will use a, a peacock curl and I think peacock curl looks pretty good too. So I should probably do these one at a time. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, so there's one right there. Got the right length. And I'm just gonna put one wrap on it to hold it in while I catch the near side one in. Okay, just try to get it about the same length. Okay, how about that? All right, that topping looks fine. Do we have enough wraps to go ahead and snip the front? Maybe, but let's put one more just for good measure. And snip this butt end off right here. Okay, now you could call it done. We could wrap it up, clean up this head, and say we've got a neat fishable streamer, and we'd be happy with it. But, why not get a little bit crazier and go ahead and put some jungle cock eyes on it? So if you've got some jungle cock eyes, just cut one to size. Let's tie this in at about a, I don't know, 30, 45 degree angle right here. Two wraps, check our position. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Now let's do one on my side right here. Okay, I think they're about the same length. And if not, you know what, it's close enough. Okay, I think that's fine. That head isn't perfect, but it's close enough for government work. I'm gonna go ahead and put a four turn whip finish on the back, and then we'll see if we have any cleanup before we put our head cement on it. All right, I'm gonna skip any cleanup, just call this one done. Put some head cement on it, and I think we've got a, a pretty interesting, nifty little fishing fly. So that's it, everybody, the 2021 Christmas streamer. I appreciate you watching. Y'all take care, and we'll see you next time.